Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cute Easter DIY flag, as well as the stand it is hanging on. The best part about the stand is that you can use it for any season. If you wanna learn how I made it, please keep watching. The first thing you're gonna need to do is make your stand. And I had this dowel, it's a one inch dowel that I cut down to 24 inches. Now you will need to pre-drill a hole in order to screw it to the base. You will also need a small hook, as you can see by the one that's being shown by my seven year old hand model. This one I got at Hobby Lobby, it was $1.99 originally, but it was half off, so I only got it for 99 cents. You will also need two wood plaques. As you can see here, I painted both the dowel and the plaques in white. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. The small one is about five and a half inches wide and the larger one is about seven inches wide. You will also need a topper for your stand. You can use a finial, but I had this old bottle corkscrew thingy <laughs> and I decided to go ahead and use that. Okay, for the base. You're going to drill a hole to the smaller base for when you screw it to the dowel. It needs to be a countersink hole, which means the hole needs to have a little bit of a gap for the screw top. This way, when you add the screw, it is flat with the bottom of the plaque and will lay flat on top of the bottom plaque. I then used wood glue to attach both wooden plaques together and secured with painter's tape until it dried. Next, I marked where I wanted the hook to be attached to the dowel. And then I used my mini miter saw to remove the cork portion of the topper. I used wood glue and tape for this as well. Then I took an old Dollar Tree Valentine's Day flag that I had in my craft room and some white chalk paint and started to paint over all of the design on the flag. Then I took a scrap piece of burlap and cut it to fit on the flag the exact same way I did for my previous Valentine's flag DIY. I used hot glue to attach it to the flag. Next, I printed a bunny silhouette that I found online and I cut it out and then traced it on another piece of scrap fabric that I had in my craft room. I then cut out the little bunny and then hot glued it onto the burlap. And finally, for a little pop of color, I added a cute little orange flower for the tail. Okay, so back to the stand. After everything was dried, I removed the tape and I sanded off any excess wood glue that might have seeped out and touched up any necessary areas. After that was dry, I decided to give it a little bit more of a distressed look, so I distressed all of the edges of the stand. Then finally, I drilled a hole for the little hook and screwed it on. Then since the screw was silver and the hook was wrought iron, I took a permanent marker and colored over it. And that's it. I hope you like this as much as I do. This stand is perfect for when you want to add a temporary piece of decor, don't have wall space in your home, or you can't drill in a specific area, like let's say on a stone fireplace mantle. 
And when the seasons change, just change the flag. So let me know in the comments below where this little stand would be useful in your home. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe so you can get more DIYs like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.